How is it going everybody? Thanks a lot for joining me once again. Today I'm going to be looking at a beer sent to me recently by my buddy Lee. Thanks a lot for sending this one out to me man. Really appreciate it. He uh, sent me a bunch of um, West Coast uh, beers and uh, really been enjoying them. So yeah, pretty stoked. Especially for this one here. Um, I recently heard the brewery out there in Placentia, California was uh, canning their beers and um, yeah, I figured... You know, that's awesome. Um, big fan of the brewery. Uh, some of my best sour beers ever come from them. And um, yeah, just big, big fan of their stuff. They know how to brew everything from like nice uh, lager to like Belgian quad to Imperial Stout, sour beer, whatever, you know. The whole range, the whole gamut of craft beer, they nail it. So we're pretty stoked for this one. Today's beer is a uh, collab beer between them and Dogfish Head out in uh, Milton, Delaware. Something like that. Delaware, anyhow. Uh, today's beer is Kisses Betwixt Mr. and Mrs. This is Ridiculous. So, strange beer name, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's a mixed culture saison on uh, Pinot Noir grapes and French oak. So pretty cool stuff. It contains brett. Um, one thing I noticed, and I've never seen it on, uh, I don't think I've ever seen it on a uh, can before, is the pH balance on it. So uh, pretty cool. 3.44 pH, 7.6% alcohol by volume. Let's get it crack poured, see how it is. Got it poured and it's uh, looking really nice. Uh, really, um, two fingers of a really like soapy, bubbly head. It looks like it's probably not gonna last too long. Um, yeah, it's fading pretty quick. But uh, yeah, tons of carbonation, almost like champagne-like carbonation on this beer. I can hear it crackling from here, you know? Pretty cool stuff. Um, pretty hazy. Um, yeah, nice hazy. Uh, bright yellow kind of color. It's a nice looking Saison. That's how I expect my Saisons to look. So, um, yeah. Let's give it a sniff. Definitely getting the grapes. Big Venice, Venice quality. Venice or is it Vinus? I've heard both. I've also heard Venice. So, I don't know. I'm going to go with Venice. Definitely getting the oak, um, nice, uh, what is that, like a really earthy, funky kind of aroma. Definitely smells like they're using Brett in this one. But yeah, mainly big white wine notes. There's a little bit of a bready um, kind of aroma in the background too, like a sweet bready kind of thing. But very floral, very grapey, very vinous, so... Yeah, smells pretty nice. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Hmm. That's a really well-balanced beer. Right away hits you with a bit of tartness. And then this nice, just... I don't know if it makes sense, but like this wet kind of quality, I guess it's beer, it should be wet, but like really, I don't want to say juicy, but something like that, middle of the tongue, and then it finishes real nice and dry. It's got a nice lightness to the beer, nice and light and spritzy, tart. But then it's also got more of like a, a stone fruit, a uh, yeah, like a little bit heavier kind of uh, flavor in the back too. Really cool beer throughout the palate. It just goes like tart, like uh, white wine, sparkling white wine, that kind of thing, that oakiness. Um, 
it goes into that sweeter, breadier stone fruit. I want to say melon, something like that. Yeah, that that's really nice. I'm getting a hint of like apricot, I think. Something like that. Apricot, peach. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Apricot, peach. Yeah, the certain like cantaloupe, maybe something like that. Yeah, like a really nice sweet cantaloupe in the background there. Um, but yeah, the finish is awesome. It just finishes like a nice oaky, uh, spritzy kind of white wine kind of finish, you know. Just makes you want to go back for more and more and more. I mean, this is super crushable beer, especially considering its strength, 7.6%. Um, all in all, really, really good. Um, I'm guessing uh, that this is probably like their Saison Roux or a similar recipe just aged in oak barrels with the grapes and stuff. Because it does have that like really nice brett, funky, floral, um, yeah, that really nice barnyard kind of quality. I absolutely love their Saison Roux and their Saisons out there. It's just probably one of my favorite Saisons. So um, yeah, this is an awesome beer. I'm loving it. So as for rating on this beer, most feels deadly. Um, got a bit of everything. Spritzy, wet, dry. <laughs> um, and a little bit juicy in the back there. So mouthfeel, awesome. Aroma, great. It just smells straight up like white wine. Flavors, just everything from fruit to spices to almost like a rosemary kind of thing in there. Um, yeah, awesome. So I'm going to give this one like right around 93, something like that. 92, 93. Really loving it. So uh, is it the best Saison I've ever had? No. But it is a really damn good one. Great collab between the brewery and Dogfish Head. Um, he actually sent me another Dogfish Head. I think I'm going to review that one right after this. <sighs> Excuse me. Their Lime Ghosts or something like that. Um, yeah, I think that's what it was. Uh, but yeah, this has been Kisses Betwixt from the brewery. And Dogfish Head, 93 from me, um, really good beer. Let me know what y'all think of this beer, any of either breweries, other beers that you've had, any other cool collaborations you've had lately, and um, yeah, just any neat beers I should try and uh, seek out. So uh, yeah, do some more reviews, you know. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, cheers.